Hey, good morning, Auburn families. This is Jeff Gardner, principal of Auburn High School. It is Friday, May 7th. It's the end of a spirit week here at the high school. Um, today's our, our school spirit day, wear our school colors. Um, just wanna let you know a little bit of a status report on how things are going in, in person. And then also for our, our people, our students who've chosen to do online. I mean, everybody's doing online. Some people are doing it half time. Some of our students are doing it full time. Um, just a quick status report. I reported this out to the kids the other day, you know, since our district or our, our league, I guess, the North Puget Sound League, since we started instituting uh, sports back in a few months back. Um, I remember the very first football game we played was like our first sporting event. And now we're getting ready to start up season three with practices here in a week or so. And we're right in the middle of season two. So we've got uh, track and baseball and softball and, and I, I don't want to forget any of them but yeah we've got kids out playing playing sports now which is pretty darn neat um anyway what i was going to say is since that time and this is as of two days ago it's the last report i got um you, you probably all know the concept of contact tracing if we know of anybody who's symptomatic um of course they then have to quarantine and they have to you know do the testing and all that but then the hard part is logistically, we have to trace back everywhere they've been for 48 hours prior to that. And there's been, as of last Wednesday, 96 uh, contact tracing threads um, that our people have had to work through, our school nurse, athletic director, uh, administration, district nurse, and, and we follow everything the best way we can. And at the same time, whoever is uh, showing symptoms, um, you know, they're getting tested also to find out the validity of if, if there was exposure. Um, and as of Wednesday, we've had zero cases traced back to Auburn High School, Auburn High School sports. Yeah, our kids have seen some exposure in different places. Uh, and, and actually, some of our athletes have actually tested positive for COVID, but it hasn't been a result of something that happened through Auburn um, school district sports or our high school situations. We feel really good about that. We're very cautious about that. We're gonna to continue to remind our kids, we gotta make sure we're doing the six feet, gotta make sure we're doing the math. They're doing great, the kids that are showing up to school. Wiping down all the tables, um, just making sure we can keep our surfaces as clean as we can for the next person. And they're just doing fantastic. Now, looking to next year, I know it's only May 7th, but looking to next year, cause we're all kind of getting excited about what the possibilities might be. Um, I'm feeling really good because what I heard a long time ago, long time ago, maybe maybe around winter time, is that schools really are the safest places for kids to be uh, because of all the things we're doing. Um, and, and that just gives me more confidence, uh, regardless of what's going on in the community with COVID, because we know it's fluctuating. It's been a little bit of a roller coaster ride. I don't know the short history we've had with COVID, you know, the summer months might bring more people together. Um, and hopefully, because we're outside, the trends will go down. But I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what it's going to look like, when, you know, late August and early September. But I'm, I'm very hopeful we can start with a full schedule. And, of course, any families that want to still maintain an online presence uh, for their students at home, our district's working on how to build capacity to do that. Feel really good about that. But my main message is we're keeping it safe here. Your kids are participating in that. Whatever you're telling them at home, it's showing up here at school. They're doing a great job. And I uh, just wanna let you know it's going well. The other result is some of the counselors I've talked to is they're monitoring grades or noticing grades are starting to go up because of that. So a, a message I have to our full-time online students is uh, we know we went through a transition between quarter three and quarter four, and we're all trying to, you know, kind of get our brains wrapped around the different directions our brains need to go now, because now we have students, I'm talking about from the teacher's perspective, we have students in front of us live. Some of our teachers are teaching full-time online at home, and they might actually be teaching online to a student who's live in the building. And uh, we put those students in the library. We have capacity for that right now. Um, but it's just different, because we have to like shift our brains to our online learners, then to our in-person learners. And uh, we're, we're, we are trying to find our way and we're trying to get better at it. Some of our teachers are having a lot more success than others. We do have a waiver day on Monday. Some of those teachers are gonna present some of their ideas and they'll record it. Um, so all of our teachers have a chance to see, hey, this is what this teacher's doing, or hey, this is what this teacher's doing so that we can present the very best instruction we can to the students at home. 
because I worried about a drop off on that. And I just want to make sure we're not dropping off. And then, of course, for our students in person. So anyway, that's what we're working on. Have a fantastic week uh, weekend. Uh, this was Teachers Appreciation Week. Hopefully, if you're a parent who feels compelled to do so, email your teachers, your students' teachers, let them know how much you appreciate them. And uh, go Trojans. Have a great day, everybody.